This is Celiac UK's Gluten-Free Chef of the Year competition. One competition, two categories, six finalists. Relaxed, don't panic, and if you have any problems, give us a shout. Okay, all happy? Off you go. The search for inventive and dynamic chefs who are passionate about catering for people with celiac disease is over. The live final pitted three professional chefs and three trainee chefs against each other to be crowned Gluten-Free Chef of the Year and up-and-coming Gluten-Free Chef of the Year, respectively. There can only be one winner of each category and it was a hard-fought fight. The competition got the industry thinking about creating delicious food but without gluten. Those who entered had to think about cross-contamination, making sure all ingredients were gluten-free and using alternative ingredients when necessary. The entries reflect how simple changes can create great food without gluten. At the moment, thousands of people with celiac disease are too worried about their health to eat out, and we want to change that. We hope to see more food that is right for people with celiac disease being served up and down the country. And we want to see choice made easier with these dishes marked on menus. One in a hundred people in the UK has celiac disease. There is no cure and the only treatment is a strict gluten-free diet for life. This means avoiding gluten which is found in wheat, barley and rye. It's essential that people with celiac disease are able to eat out just like anyone else and we hope the competition will help to drive that message to the catering industry. Plans for the 2011 competition are already underway. So look out for more information in the trade press. 15 seconds. I'm really happy to be Celiac UK's food ambassador and showing my passion with all the caterers and young chefs out in the industry. The only treatment for celiac disease is a lifelong gluten-free diet. That is something I'm more than happy and will always continue to push wherever I am. There's no reason why you cannot have a completely normal diet without gluten. We know this market represents £100 million of revenue. So I'm urging chefs and caterers to take up the challenge and cook wonderful gluten-free food.